여기 오늘부터 초등학교에 다니기로 한 일곱 살 아이의 이름은 메리입니다. What kind of school is this anyway? Stand up, babe. These questions are for you because you're so advanced. What is 15 plus 17? 32. All right then. 57 plus 135. 192. Uh-huh. 결국 아이들에게 치명적인 곱셈을 57 multiply. 그것도 잔인할 정도로. By 135. 큰 숫자를 부르고 마는 선생님. 7695. The square root is 87.7. And change. Excuse me. Hi. 수업 시간에 본 놀라운 얘기를 꺼내려 하자. Jacksonburg. It's the invention of the calculator, but uh, can still win a drink at a bar using it. 암산법이 특별한 거지 애가 특별한 건 아니라는 외삼촌 프랭크의 거짓말은 다음날 들통나죠. He has just one eye. How did he lose his eye? Just found him inside of a trash can next to a bottle. He is a smart, smart cat. On the top of the paper, think about how you get to the answer. It's not just about, you know, done. 그러자 미리 준비한 okay, I you might quickly, so. 암상과는 차원이 다른 고등학교 3학년 수학 문제를 메리에게 건네는 담임선생 수업을 마치고 단한 문제도 틀리지 않았다는 걸 알게 되자 메리에 관해 알아보기 시작하고 메리의 전체성이 어디서 왔는지 왜 외삼촌이 키우고 있는지 그 이유도 알게 되죠. <웃음> 메리는 주말마다 외삼촌과 UFC를 봅니다. 다행히 문제가 많은 아이였고 친구를 도려다 생긴 일이라 주의를 주는 정도로 끝내기로 했지만 Miss Stevenson believe has talents that our curriculum can't begin to challenge. The Oaks Academy for Gifted Education. Full ride. 숨기려 한 메리의 재능이 들통나고 거의 1대1 교습이 이루어지는 영재 학교에 추천을 받게 되죠. I think she's got to be here. 고집스럽게 제안을 거부하고 자리를 떠나는 프랭크. Bring me every piece of paperwork we have on this girl. 교장 선생이 자료를 들고 간지 얼마 되지 않아 집 앞에 한 여자가 나타납니다. That'll be your grandmother. It's a MacBook, darling. 고양이 알러지 탓에 아들 프랭크를 밖으로 데려 나와 이곳에 온 이유를 얘기하는 그녀. Lives the school she attends. It's substandard, every bit of it. Diane didn't want you to have her. Diane, an obvious Stokes and gone down in history as one of the greatest mathematicians of all time, but she didn't finish. She was weak. Oh, come on, non-trivial zeros with a bunch of old Russian guys for the rest of her life. And treating her as such is negligence on a grand scale. I suggest you call your attorney. 재판을 해서라도 메리의 양육권을 가져가겠다는 할머니의 선전포고. I told you something like this would happen. 옆집 아줌마 로베르타는 주말마다 메리를 돌봐주죠. 복잡한 심정의 프랭크에게 메리의 담임 선생 로니가 찾아옵니다. Custody case and then I found out who's and I'm important to me that you know that. 그렇게 사과로운 그녀와 술판을 벌인 다음 날. I can't find my DVD. You were the last person to watch it. What did you do with it? Oh, oh my God. Good morning, Miss Stevenson. Look, I am... oh, you know what? I'm actually incapable of having this conversation right now. Are you allowed in this apartment this early on Saturday morning? Yes or no? We have these rules. We've gone over them a hundred times. Ah, shh. Can I just get five minutes of my own life? I got mad at you. I was really mad at me. I'm sorry. You really have no life because of me. Last month you said I was the worst uncle in the world and you wished death upon me because I didn't buy you a piano. Do you mean that? We say things all the time we don't mean. So let's forget it, okay? Okay. Frank? Yeah. Can I have a piano? No. 메리와 화해한 이날 로베르타 주마가 우려했던 일이 벌어지죠. It's just two days. 법원을 통해 이틀간 손녀의 접경권을 얻어낸 할머니는 Wow. 
그리운 엄마의 얼굴을 보고 있는 메리를 데리고 다음날 MIT로 향하죠. Look, seven great the millennium problems. Dude with a beard. Grigori Perelman. He proved the Poincaré conjecture. This is your mother's problem. Navia Stokes. No picture. She didn't solve it. And probably shared a Nobel, considering what it would have meant for physics. You can have your picture there, darling. 수학자인 자신과 천재였던 딸의 못다한 꿈을 메리가 도전할 자격이 있는지 알아보려 합니다. Did he really expect you to just walk in random massive problem? Not much did I expect if you ask me. What? I forgot the negative sign on the exponent. Maybe the school isn't as great as you think it is. 다시 돌아와 자신의 장난을 바로잡는 메리를 보고 온몸에 소름이 돋는 MIT 교수. 하지만 메리의 천재성을 두 눈으로 확인한 할머니는 한 번도 찾지 않았던 메리의 아버지를 데려와 법정 싸움을 시작하죠. Mr. Pollard is the father and natural guardian of the minor. Mrs. Adler, the maternal grandmother, as the legal guardian of the minor. Mr. Pollard, when was the last time you saw Mary? Uh, I've, I've never seen her. Why not? Uh, the baby was gone already. Couldn't just go and search the entire country. Let, let's Google Mary Adler and uh, see what we find. Uh, you better add her middle name. It'll narrow it down. 평생 수학에 빠져 사랑에 미숙했던 메리의 엄마 Eileen. 그녀와 잠깐 만났던 메리의 아빠는 so 5년 전 실린 메리의 특집 기사는 물론 사귀었던 여자의 이름도 모르는 그런 사람이었죠 I hate it the word of us. Hotel. Why did you have to tell her that dead beat was testified? Because it's the truth, and if I didn't, I wouldn't. Does anyone see what I look like? Put your shoes on. We're going for a ride. You too. 버려진 듯한 기분이 된 메리를 데리고 병원으로 와 한참에 한참을 더 기다린 프랭크. It's a boy. 의사와 간호사, 복도를 지나는 사람들까지 That's exactly how it was when you were born. 자신이 태어났을 때에도 기뻐해준 사람들이 있었다는 걸 알게 되고 마치 자신이 축하를 받는 것처럼 새로운 생명의 탄생을 축하하는 메리 이제 메리를 지키기 위한 두 번째 재판이 시작됩니다 Who's Paul r i v e r Paul was Diane's first love, wasn't he? Diane was 17 years old at the time. She didn't know anything about love. Didn't Diane and young Mr. Reva run away together? Called the police, didn't you? Kidnappers don't usually take their victim's scheme. You filed a lawsuit against his parents until Paul stopped calling Diane, didn't you? Yes. And how did she take it? She lost focus. In March of 1999, didn't Diane Adler attempt to take her own life? One in a billion. The greatest discoveries which have improved life on this planet. Without them, we'd still be crawling in mud. I had responsibilities which went beyond the mother-daughter relationship. You see, Diane understood she was accountable for the gift she'd been given, and she didn't shy from it. No more questions. Mary를 키울 자격이 없다는 공격은 프랭크에게도 이어지죠. Currently employed, I repair boats. Marina, I freelance. So safe to say, no health insurance. No. What your sister would have wanted you to do indicated she wanted her daughter uprooted and moved here. No. And you turned down a scholarship at the Oaks, vocation of gifted children. And Diane, she'd be fine with. Couldn't say. Mr. Adler, does Diane's daughter have her own bedroom? No. So the truth is, and you certainly didn't come here because it was good for Mary. Diane got the attention. You didn't. And here comes Mary. What a great. Diane thing. wanted Mary to be a kid. She wanted her to have friends, play. 
Did she not attack a child on the school bus? October 16th of last year, were you arrested for assault? Did you spend the night in jail? Yeah. You are in way over your head here. 경제적 상황과 가정 환경으로 전방위적인 공세를 퍼붓더니 생각지 못한 상대측 변호사의 합의 제안 no. no, no, no. no no. 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 I've been in his courtroom a hundred times, and if it's a coin toss, it's going to side with the money. Piano s a i h a b i j a n e o r o p k e t e m p a l k o r u m s u y o n g j a n g i t a l i n j a s a n g i b u i n u p u b u e j i b u r o t r o s a j a b e r i g a k a k u s i p a d o n p i a n o g a p o i m i d a So while I'm trying to sell you on the house. Think that we're completely insensitive to to what you're feeling. You guys gonna be okay with the cat? Absolutely. Good challenging school. Foster people. The only saving grace, I suppose, is she's better off than she was. Only 25 minutes away. Please don't leave me here. Please. And once a month you can come back. You can stay with me and Roberta. I want to stay with you, Frank. You promised me. Please, Frank. Why are you leaving? Come on. No. No. Hey, Mary. Promise no. you. Don't leave me. No. 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 We're having a little bit of a problem in there. Having a little bit of a meltdown. Let me talk to you. Oh, sure. hang, hang on. She d o n t want to see you. f o r your trust, and we have an even bigger problem. 얼굴도 보지 못한 채 집으로 돌아와 시간이 메리의 화를 풀어주길 기다리는 프랭크는 수업 시간에 자신의 친구라며 자랑했던 메리의 고양이 프레드의 입양 전단지를 게시판에서 발견한 선생님 로니의 연락을 받게 되죠. Hey. Hey Fred, who brought this cat? Some guy. That was an allergy issue. I'm o i n g Fred를 집에 데려다 놓고 무언가를 결심한 듯 창고에 숨겨둔 박스를 꺼내들고. Where's Evelyn? Let, listen, I'm sorry, man. 처음부터 별채에서 메이리를 돌보며 수학을 가르치려 한 할머니. Come on, Mary. We're going home. You need to look at this. 할머니가 충격에 빠져 있는 동안 도망치던 메리를 붙잡는 프랭크. You lied to me. It's just no. I'm so sorry. You promised me. I know. I'm sorry. I missed you. I missed you too. Why did you leave me there? Because I thought I was bad for you. Is this amazing human being? Then I must be doing something right. What is this? You want to know how Diane told me she what finished? What is this unconscionable? She said, "What do I do now?" 학교를 나가 친구를 만나길 원했던 건 동생과 달리 메리만큼은 그 다음 할 것이 있길 바랬던 프랭크. If she had completed the proof, she would have published it. That I was only to publish it post mortem. Six years ago. It wasn't her death she was talking about. You're going to be spending the next few years of your life. You won't have time for her. Evelyn Adler. 세상에 알리려는 그녀. That it was the case for all numbers congruent to form out fine. 수학을 좋아하는 메리는 이제 인근 대학의 강의를 듣습니다. Hey, hey, wait till I come to a stop. 그리고 체육 시간에 맞춰 학교로 달려온 메리가 수학 너머에 있는 것들을 놓치지 않게 하며 영화는. 끝이랍니다.
영화는 교육이 지식만이 아닌 어떻게 인생을 살고 즐겨야 할지도 알려줘야 한다고 말하고 있는 2017년작 어메이징 메리입니다. 공허함을 느꼈던 메리의 엄마처럼 영화 속 초상화로 등장한 푸엔카레 추측을 푼 실제 인물 페렐만 박사 역시 모든 상과 영예를 거부하고 은둔 생활을 하며 접근하는 기자들에게 쌍욕을 퍼붓는 것으로 유명하죠. 문제를 푼 후에도 여전히 삶은 해볼 만한 일들로 가득 차 있다고 말해주는 듯한 이 영화 어메이징 메리 영화를 보면서 매우 인상적인 대사가 있었습니다. Do you mean that? Say things all the time we don't mean. So. 누군가로부터 상처를 받고 상처를 준 모든 사람들에게 작은 치유가 될수 있는 이런 멋진 장면을 최고의 주가를 올리고 있는 캡틴 아메리카 크리스 에반스와 해맑은 미소가 보기 좋았던 맥케나 그레이시의 사랑스러운 연기로 시간이 되실 때 온전한 영화로 감상해 보시길 추천드리며 항상 여러분의 공허함을 함께 채워드리고 싶은 저희에게. You should know me laughing. What are you gonna do about it? 구독과 좋아요, 알림 설정까지 부탁드리며 이상 리뷰마스터였습니다.